workers. That's usually issued by fire officials in the area when they feel that conditions do warrant that alert. And, uh, you know, for good reason. We saw several days in a row with uh, sundown or winds, dry conditions. Fortunately, things are going to change, Beth, okay. over the week. So happy Labor Day, by happy the way. Happy Labor Day you to you, and I, are too. Nice. I know, I love it. I know. Nice to see it's you. good to see you, too. All right, let's switch to the maps and show you a live cam view of the Santa Maria Valley. A little bit of haze and fog in the distance. And out towards the beaches west of Santa Maria, tough time clearing today. Let me show you the scene in Santa Barbara. More sunshine in southern parts of the county versus northern parts of the county. We did see a little bit of haze lingering today. Not a clear shot of the islands nor the mountains, but still a beautiful day and a beautiful end to that holiday weekend nonetheless. Here's the numbers today in Santa Barbara. 83 degrees, morning low of 65. So both the low and the high above average for this time of the year. Switching back to Santa Maria, here's what we saw today. 81 degrees warm as well for the Santa Maria Valley, but temperatures did begin to trend down today, and that trend is something that we're going to follow for the next, say, two to three days. So Tuesday, let's look ahead to that weather outlook. Areas of fog for the morning hours, low clouds as well for the afternoon hours. We'll see some sunshine and some onshore breezes. And as I mentioned, the cooling continues with coastal areas in the 60s and 70s, valleys ranging from 82 to 93. So still pretty hot in those inland spots, especially out towards Ojai, Paso Robles, and Cuyama. But by the middle of the week, those spots are going to be back down into the lower and middle 80s. I want to show you the West Coast all across the southwestern U.S., no rainfall tonight, very quiet conditions, no monsoon action kicking up. The closest band of rain is associated with a low pressure system out there in the Dakotas. Closer to home, you can see that marine layer hugging these central coast beaches, and that's where it'll make an early return tonight as it does expand back inland. I think this is a little bit underdone south of Point Conception, much like what we saw today. There will be areas of clouds and fog, but by the afternoon hours, aside from these beaches again, should see plenty of sunshine, and then late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, morning, the clouds and fog poised to make that early return out towards Santa Maria and Lompoc. So here's the changes we're tracking. This high, which brought the heat through the weekend, continues to shift off to the east. And as it does, we'll watch this trough of low pressure digging down the west coast. So we'll continue to see the overcast nights, the overcast mornings, the sunshine for the afternoon a little closer to home. We'll also see those onshore breezes, which will help to cool things down. So nice and mild for us, especially as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday with the sun sunshine out there, mostly during the uh, afternoon hours, maybe after the lunch hour by the coastline. So tomorrow in Santa Barbara, today in the 80s, tomorrow down into the 70s all across the south coast, 77 in Santa Maria, 76 in Orca Valleys tomorrow, mostly into the 80s, but again, those far inland spots could see some low 90s tomorrow. 88 in Atascadero, 65 in Morro Bay, 74 in Aurora Grande, Aventura County, some morning gray here, but plenty of sunshine expected as we roll into those afternoon hours. Santa Barbara seven day forecast. Nice tomorrow, but cooler Wednesday and Thursday. Even with the cool down, still pretty close to average, if not slightly above. And then there is a weekend warm up ahead as we head towards the first weekend of September. Santa Maria seven day forecast with the cool down here. We see some middle 70s Wednesday and Thursday. San Luis Obispo, the cooler weather brings in a great looking forecast. In fact, it's a short work week, but it looks nice for all areas. Even Paso will take mid 80s, especially after Saturday's high, Beth. 105. Oh, was it really that hot? Yeah. Okay. So it was hot up there. Right. It's going to be a little bit cooler. Paso, so stay hydrated tomorrow. Still a little bit warm in some of those inland valleys, but overall, pleasant, pleasant weekend. Yeah, no complaints.